Welcome to the updated product webinar for the Ascension Pyramid. We've had some exciting new progressions within this pyramid. On the physical, we have added a basket that holds the torus. So we were able to get rid of the cross wires on the feet and now then put the cross member wire right underneath the torus where it is held firmly. Another innovation that we just recently came out with is this new top which holds both the 3 inch or the 8 inch Gaia spheres. And with this new addition onto the top it also creates a hook where one can actually hang the small pyramid by this hook. So instead of utilizing the pyramid above a bed where you would actually have the long legs that extend clear out and are kind of cumbersome around the bed, you can actually hang this from above the bed and where the legs extend, they extend energetically down into the earth so you are creating actually a full-size pyramid just by hanging. The Ascension Pyramids from TwistedSage.com consist of five components to make the pyramids fully functional. The first is the legs assembly, which is a 60 degree copper pyramid all cut to sacred measures. Now pictured here is the mini pyramid, which the mini Ascension Pyramid is also the top for the Sitz Pyramid and then the Sitz Pyramid will expand into the full-size Ascension Pyramid. So we always begin with this top component. The top component of the Ascension Pyramid now contains a rubber seat, a grommet here, where we will show you how the Gaia spheres will attach directly onto the top. We have also added this wire basket as stated, which will hold the torus in place and also keep the legs extended at the proper angles. The other four components that are needed to create a working ascension pyramid are the cosmic sun disk as one. This is the 8 inch cosmic sun disk. The wings of talk. The harmonic creation field trio and then we also have the Gaia spheres that are in the regeneration frequency. So for the mini ascension pyramid, I will show you the assembly to this. And the large rings are for the 8 foot pyramid, the full size ascension pyramid, as is the 8 inch Gaia sphere. So, to begin, once your pyramid comes, it is bright and shiny, the copper. Once you start to touch it, you will leave your fingerprints on it and it will begin to patina more. You certainly can wear gloves, but the copper will just eventually patina anyway. Which, it does not affect it energetically and it's actually quite beautiful once it does patina, the copper pipe. So, to begin our assembly of this, once we have the pyramid out and it has the end cap feet on it, we simply stretch the two sides to where the torus will slip right in. And then we just bring the legs out so that they all extend out approximately equal away from each other. Now, with this structure, you do not have to worry if your legs are exactly perfect as a square at the perfect angles. This structure is going to contain all the energetics just on its own without being perfect. We can then put on the Harmonic Creation Field Trio. The wings of talk 
I usually just set right in on top of the torus. The wings of talk can go anywhere. You can certainly set it beneath as well. Now, for the Gaia spheres, your Gaia spheres are going to come with this assembly already added onto the small Gaia sphere. So, all you need to do is set it on top and screw it on. And that is that. Just screw it on there firmly. Then once it is on there firmly, it is complete. And you will be able to utilize that as a hanging hook as you, if you wish. Another beautiful thing about this design is that it leaves so much space underneath. You can certainly add whatever you wish under here. You can create your crystal grid, um, you know, you can put your food, your water, your supplements, whatever it is, um, it will hold that within that space, that field of, that field of neutrality. Now, when you do add other components to this, like let's say we have one of our brand new everything rings, you can certainly take one of the everything rings and add it anywhere on the structure to bring through that chaotic energy of the of the everything ring if you choose. A lot of people will utilize this with their pyramids just to add that little bit of extra for doing any of that really deep release work. So you can certainly add on an everything ring to the structure if you choose. So that is all there is to assemble the mini pyramid. Next, I will show you the assembly of the Sitz pyramid. For the assembly of the Sitz pyramid, which comes in its own tube, or is also part of the largest ascension pyramid, We'll start by, start by removing the little end caps that are on the bottom of the pyramids. Now you can certainly go without the end caps if you wish. It's, it just helps to protect furniture, floors, things like that from the sharp edges of the base of the pyramid. So we'll sit the small pyramid to the side and we'll take and put the end caps onto the base of our Sitz Pyramid's legs. And once we have all the end caps on, we can then assemble the legs with the top. Now, I went on ahead and just assembled the Gaia Sphere on the top first. It is a sturdy unit, so you're welcome to just leave the Gaia Sphere right there if you wish as you take it down. So the legs just simply slide right onto the extensions. And again, if you order just the Sitz Pyramid itself, it will have this part already assembled. And then if you get the Sitz Pyramid and wish to use just the Mini Pyramid, simply pull the legs apart. Okay, so we have our Sitz Pyramid now. Simply bring the legs out so that it is able to stand on its own. Then we grab the torus and again just bringing the legs out wide so that you can slip the torus right in. Then we simply widen the legs out, get everything squared away, ensure that our top is tight. And there we are. There is the base assembly for the Sitz Pyramid. 
And of course, we add our harmonic creation field trio and our wings of talk. And there is the Sitz Pyramid. This is a really a beautiful sized pyramid. It is one that you can slip a chair under. And of course, a rolly chair is always nice. So, <sighs> the Sitz Pyramid. <laughs> All right. Whew. I should have sat in here in the beginning of this. All right. So next we'll move on to assembling the full-sized ascension pyramid. When you receive your full-size ascension pyramid, it will come in a large PVC pipe with a screw-off lid. When you pull the legs out, the legs will be in three separate sections. The longest section is the extensions for the Sitz Pyramid. The other two sections consist of the mini pyramid and then the extensions for the full-size pyramid. Now this will always have the rubber grommet. With the full-size pyramid though where we are utilizing the 8-inch Gaia sphere the unit will also come with a larger hook. So I'd like to show you the difference on these two hooks for the two Gaia spheres. When you receive the three inch Gaia sphere it will come already assembled with the unit that you simply screw onto the top. Now you just simply take the nut off of this and you can disassemble this hook unit so you can have just the Gaia sphere by itself if you wish. For the larger Gaia sphere, we suggest utilizing this hook through one of the triangles. So simply, once you have your pyramid structure assembled, simply put the hook through one of the triangles and screw it right down on the top and screw it down firmly and you are good. Now there are a couple ways that you can assemble that full size pyramid at this point depending on the height of your ceilings. Ideally you would put on the large Gaia sphere on top of the structure then you would assemble the legs, stand it up and slip the torus in. But if you are utilizing an eight foot tall ceiling, you may wish to wait to put the Gaia sphere on last. Now that still might be a little bit of a tight fit and you might have to use a ladder or a stool to put the Gaia sphere on top, but for a smaller eight foot high ceiling, I would sure suggest leaving the Gaia sphere off. So to begin the assembly, We have our longest extensions, which all have the feet on the end of them when you order the full size ascension pyramid or the sits pyramid. And again, we simply add the legs and slip them right onto the bottoms so that they are fully extended. Okay, once your legs are fully extended, again, you'll have to keep this at an angle in order for this to stand up. So, if you simply angle this out and extend that all the way, and then as you raise it up, it will then fit underneath that eight foot tall ceiling. So, I just have the four legs very rectangled out here for now until we put the torus in. So next, we can slip that torus in. Or, at this point, another option, which is probably the best option for your eight foot tall ceilings, is now we can lean this down 
to where we can add the Gaia sphere. And again, we find the triangle. We simply take our hook with the screw and we simply screw it down so that it's just firm. It doesn't have to be tight and you're not going to hurt anything making it too tight. It's all a, a rubber contraption here so that it has the give to it. But we do want to make sure that the Gaia sphere is held on there firmly so that it's not going to go anywhere as you stand it up. Okay. It does have a little bit of a flop and give to it until it stood straight up. So now we have that standing up. We expand our legs just a little bit so that this will stand on its own. Then we take our torus. I have to move the camera here for you. And so this torus, again, will be able to slip right into the basket. And as it slips into the basket, we can then expand the legs. to bring us more into square. So if you do want to add the harmonic creation field trio, the small set, you would do that before you add the Gaia sphere. Or else, like I say, if you have a stool, you could grab your stool, pull that Gaia sphere off, slip your small harmonic creation field trio on, and then you are complete. This is our large set. Which comes with the full size pyramid. And last but not least, we add the wings of talk. And there we have it. We have our full size ascension pyramid. Beautiful, powerful structure. All right. So if you would like to watch some of the other videos we have out there, it will walk you through some of the energetic components of the Ascension Pyramids, as well as some of the meditations that you can do within them to access that field of neutrality, which we can access these fields, of course, just by going into the sacred space of the heart, connecting, bringing them in. This is basically an attunement to those fields. So then you know what that field of neutrality feels like and you can better access that and bring it in at any time. Thank you for watching the video and if you do have any questions with this process, please do send us an email. Um, and You can send an email to info at twistedsage.com and we'd be happy to assist. Thank you.